Диабет серьезное испытание. Илона lives in a small town not too far from Amsterdam with her husband and kids, Tatum and Aryan. Both Tatum, who is 11, and her brother Aryan, who is 13, have diabetes. The school is half an hour away by bike, so every morning my children need to think what they're going to eat during the day and how much insulin is needed. They need to keep that in mind throughout the day to come back home safely without getting low blood sugar somewhere on the way. Tatum and Ayan are taking part in a European research project using electronic games to help children with diabetes. Special apps on their tablets train them to choose the right food, count carbohydrates and keep track of their activities in more of a fun way than books can ever do. Kids don't really read books that much anymore. We prefer playing with our smartphones. Yeah, books are a bit boring. Tablets are much more fun. The research involves three hospitals and two diabetes organizations in Italy and in the Netherlands. On their clinical visits, kids can play with a robot programmed to be not just a trainer, but a friend. It plays like a human, occasionally making mistakes which kids can correct. People have the tendency to uh, humanize robots. And that humanization uh, helps us with uh, the bonding the child has with the robot. And uh, that improves their uh, engagement. Pediatricians can program the robot to set individual objectives for each child. Researchers notice that kids who have an electronic pal like this are happier to come back for their regular checkups. Kids love this robot. Children don't usually like going to the clinic. They prefer funnier things to do, like playing with their friends. But this robot makes them want to come. They take selfies with the robot and show their friends that diabetes is not just a burden. In this quiz game, the robot offers the kid a choice of actions in daily life situations, such as an invitation to a birthday party or a selection of dessert options. The player is supposed to make the healthiest choice. Next, the roles are switched, and now it's the robot who has to guess the right answer. For this project, we need a robot that recognizes the emotions of the child, which knows how to make a sentence, how to select questions. We had to create all that. And the visualizations on the tablet that we've developed are very important. Although the robot doesn't provide medication advice, it helps to understand symptoms of diabetes-related conditions. Researchers made sure the robot doesn't share kids' personal information with others. Of course, that a very high uh, hypos or hyper should be reported to the parents, but the child should be in control on what to share. Researchers are planning to get more children involved in this experiment and to develop a cloud-based network that will link robots and tablets, helping the electronic pals to learn and grow with the children.